good morning friends today we are going to discuss the collective structure or liquid drop model of nucleus with nuclear vibrations so in last few classes we found that the nuclear properties can be explained using the nuclear shell model which is equivalent to the atomic shell model but many properties could not accommodate it especially the properties uh, of the even even nuclei we found some examples for the such properties exhibited by the even even nuclei and in such cases we have to consider the nuclear vibrations and rotations also and the model is known as the leak drop model so here we we are discussing the leak drop model with considering the nuclear vibrations so let us consider the nuclear vibrations equivalent to the vibrations in a leak drop means just like a liquid drop it leaves the spherical shape instantaneously even though the average shape is spherical one means during the vibrations it becomes a non-spherical shape even though its average shape is spherical one you can see this dashed line is this average shape which is the spherical one and the, the solid one and this solid one corresponds to the non-spherical one which is during the vibration and this can be represented by the arrow of t where this arrow of t is the uh, distance to the surface of the nucleus arrow of t is equal to r average plus sigma lambda sigma mu alpha lambda mu y lambda mu where this r average is the radius of this spherical uh, shaped average nucleus and this one is the deformation on that average radius and this y lambda mu is the spherical harmonics just like the spherical harmonics normally we discuss or this lambda mu is replaced by the lm in atomic case here the lambda is equal to one results in dipoles you can see this is the dipole in which the center of mass is displaced the center of mass is displaced when this dipole is vibrated so this is not possible by the internal nuclear forces hence we did not consider this one we did not take this one to the uh, nuclear vibrations so the next possibility the next higher possibility is the quadrupole moment with lambda is equal to 2 which results in 2 plus excited state since lambda which is equivalent to L is equal to 2 the angular momentum will be 2 since L is equal to 2 and this uh, this plus state is this even parity is obtained by since lambda is equal to 2 minus 1 raised to 2 is plus so this results in 2 plus excited state The energy is not predicted by this theory. The energy of this vibrating nuclei is not predicted by this theory. So such each quadrupole phonon with two angular momentum, two units of angular momentum can have these phi projections means minus L2 plus L with unit 1 that is minus 2 2 plus 2 with unit spacing that is minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 and plus 2 
suppose now we go, we add these two phonons two quadrupole phonons what will be the results the results will be these 25 possibilities these 25 uh, resultant values of the angular momentum so closely looking this angular momentum this resultant angular momentum we can see that they are not uh, really 25 numbers but actually this is six this 15 numbers are there 15 uh, quantities are there with l is equal to 0 this mu is equal to 0 and with l is equal to plus 2 the total angular momentum l is equal to plus 2 this mu is equal to plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 and with l is equal to 4 this mu is equal to plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 2 minus 3 and minus 4 just like the 12 plus 1 components of the uh, each angular moment its orbital angular moment so we can say that the two quadrupole phonon state is a triplet state and each triplet is again uh, a degenerate levels having these levels but without resolving such levels we can say that each uh, the quadrupole two quadrupole level is a triplet state with zero plus corresponds to this one zero plus means with zero unit of angular momentum with positive parity since l is equal to zero and this is two plus angular momentum two units and again the a parity is positive and four plus with angular momentum 4 units and this parity is again positive since l is equal to 4. So the state of the energy of all these states, the energy of this uh, two quadrupole phonon excited state is twice the energy of the first two plus state. Okay, the first two plus state was a single state. So this triplet state, this, this triplet excited state will be having the twice the energy of the first two plus state since this is the combination of two phonons. The first two plus state was with single phonon was due to the single phonon but this is due to addition of two phonons, two quadrupole phonons. So this triplet states 0 plus 2 plus and 4 plus are the common feature of vibrational nuclei and hence support this model. Now if we combine the three phonon, three quadrupole phonon, it results in 0 plus these combinations, 0 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, and 6 plus. So the next highest mode of the vibration is corresponding to lambda is equal to 3, which is the octopole mode. So it carries 3 units of angular momentum and negative parity, since this is L is equal to lambda is equal to 3. That is why the negative parity minus 1 raised to L will be negative 1 minus 1. That is why this is having the negative parity. And so this excited state will be having 3 units of angular momentum and the negative parity. So adding a single octopole phonon to the ground state, ground state of the 1 1 means 0 plus state, it becomes a 3 minus state, 3 minus excited state. So this kind of three minus excited states are also commonly observed in vibrational nuclei. Usually 
about the triplet states of two foreigners. We'll see an example for this case, this tellurium 120. See, this is the tellurium 120 is an even E1 nuclei. So the ground state of the even E1 nuclei is zero plus. So this is the case for the tellurium nuclei again. Now, this is our first excited state due to the single quadrupole phonon. And this is the second excited state, this is the zero plus four plus two plus, due to the combination of two quadrupole phonons. And we can notice that the energy of this triplet states are almost twice the energy of this two plus excited state, the first two plus excited state. And these excited, these uh, quadruplets and this singlet, and these are the resultant of the uh, the three phonons, three quadrupole phonons. This zero plus two plus three plus four plus and six plus. And finally, this is the result of, resultant of the. Uh, octopole moment this three minus state and you can notice that this three minus state is here above all these states but in generally it is about the triplet state of this two phonon this can be above these triplet states but need not be above this one but this is generally about this triplet state Now, what are the predictions of the vibrational model? So, so this is the quadrupole moments of the first two plus states of E1, E1 nuclei. We already discussed this one. So, if the equilibrium shape is spherical, the quadrupole moments of the first two plus states should vanish. So, this is the experimental results. So experimentally, they are very small. You can see they are very small, very near to zero up to this 150 and often vanishing in the region a less than 150. So up to 150, this is very small and sometimes they vanish. So this match with the, this one matches with the experimental. So this predicted value and its experimental results closely matches. Next, the magnetic moments of the first two plus states. So this is the magnetic moments of the first two plus states. These are predicted as two times Z by A. So it is in the range 0 0.821.0, 0 0.821.0. A few exceptions are there mostly due to the closed shell structure and we already discussed this one also this is the magnetic moment of fast two plus states so this is the prediction and this is the experimental results so this also this experimental results also agree with the experiments now the third prediction is if the four plus state is a member of two phonon triplet and two plus is the first excited state then the ratio of e the energy of four plus divided by energy of two plus is predicted as two so this is the experimental results you can notice this one this is the experimental results so up to 150, this roughly agrees with the prediction, this one. This is roughly 2.0. So this roughly agrees with the prediction up to 150, up to A is equal to 150. 